Hey guys, it's Noah from Limitless Lacrosse, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to tape your lacrosse stick. The first thing that you guys want to do is take off all the tape from your stick. Once you have just your shaft, you want to go grab your tape. And the size of the tape that we're going to be using is that you want to make sure that it's about a quarter inch in depth. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the tape, right? and we're going to take it around the bottom of our stick and we're going to be creating a butt end. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the tape around until it creates a butt. Every so often, you want to make sure that you're pressing down on the edges to make sure it's nice and firm and pressing down on the top so it's nice and flat. Now that we have the shape of our button, it's time to cover it up or else our stick would be considered illegal. So, what we are going to do is we are going to make a little basket weave. So basically, what we do is we are going to take our tape, right? And we're gonna start weaving a basket. So, like this, we're gonna go over and then we're gonna keep on weaving it. We're making cross sections to cover up the hole in the middle and we are going to keep on doing that until the whole entire stick is covered up like this. You may need to do this a couple of times but in the end it should look very nice. So after taking our tape and weaving it around our butt end multiple times the end result should look something like this. A nice big butt end that's very sturdy and will not break. So the great thing about having these nice big tape butts are that you will get a lot of power on your shot because you'll be able to grip the stick better since you have a nice big butt end. With the rubber butt ends, it's a little harder to get a grasp of your stick since they're so small. So sometimes your hand might fall off with the rubber butt ends. But with the tape butt end, your hand will get caught at the end of your stick, so it will prevent your hand from sliding off of your stick, and in all, it will give you a better grip, and will you be able to get a better shot and better pass when playing. Now that we finished taping our butt end, it's time to tape the shaft. So what we're gonna do is take a nice big roll of tape, and we are gonna start at the very bottom of our stick. And what we're gonna do is make a nice area for, uh, for us to place our hands. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly wrap the tape around the stick. But you wanna make sure to make a nice pattern and like start diagonally. That way that it'll look nice when you overlap it. And we're gonna continue this all the way down the stick for about seven to 10 inches and that's so around where the middle of the stick is that's where you want to place your hands uh, when you shoot or when you pass so I keep my tape there as a subtle reminder of where to put, place my hands once you get to the desired length of your stick you want to even it out and make sure that the tape is not going diagonal anymore but horizontal and what you want to do is just wrap it around continuously to form a little bump so you know when you hit the tape so do that and once you finish that off you want to grab your scissors and cut it off. So now we're gonna tape right below the head of our stick. So take your tape and we're gonna place it about six inches underneath our head. And we're gonna continue to go up the stick. And we wanna make sure that after you wanna make sure that there's a tiny little space between your head and the stick where the tape is. To make sure that your stick is legal because if it's not then your stick is considered Ill illegal so basically we take our stick here we take our tape on our stick and we're gonna start to wrap it around 
the stick, and eventually we're gonna get to the top of the stick. As we approach the top of the stick, we are gonna do the same thing that we did at the bottom of our stick. We're gonna make sure that our stick, that the tape of our stick is going to be horizontal now instead of diagonal. And we are gonna circle around the stick a couple of times to make sure that it's nice and tight and that the tape will not come off and to make sure that there's a bump. So we're gonna do that. And again, we're going to take our scissors and cut it off. And there we go. That is our finished lacrosse stick. If you guys love all things lacrosse, make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also make sure you like and comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.